Okay, hello. So uh, today will be the first in what promises to be a large series of videos under the category of how to keep yourself busy when you're stuck at home. Um, so I'd say the first thing to tackle if I wanted to keep myself really busy would be a very simple idea. As, as we all know in Barry's world, one simple idea can keep you busy for months. Um, and that simple idea is the half-step embellishment. What do I mean by this? Okay, let's start with the regular scale of chords, which m most of everybody knows, where you do the move from seven to six, right? You have the root, the seventh, and the third. You move from seven to six and take that up the scale, and so on. And there's two inversions, the seventh and the third, and the third and the seventh. And now the movement's on top when you're in this other inversion. Now the half step embellishment. I'm gonna go back to the other inversion. I have my root seventh and third. I'm gonna do my scale step down. In other words, the seventh of the chord becomes the sixth of the chord. Then a half step below. And I'm gonna take that up the scale. Again, some of you know this, but I'm going somewhere with this, so stay with me. Fingering wise, I like to put my third Not all the, always the case. Sometimes, that, sometimes it's awkward. I really wouldn't worry about fingerings with this, but you know, you see, it just kind of makes sense. I think. Of, you know, any key you do. And again, in the other inversion. To see, it'll be here. So, in this, let's call this moving through the target, through the target, and back. So the target is the sixth, obviously, and you move through it and come back. Now the other way, which is the way that's going to connect to all different things, it's surrounding the target. In other words, instead of moving through it, I'm going to go for my seven. I'll surround it with the half step embellishment and come back. Okay? Okay, so I'm going to do this all the way up. Now, there, you can do it with doubles. That's already a great thing, like somewhere, somewhere. We'll be together, wait and see. But by the way, this time the dream's on me. Hold my hand. That's a, a great place to put something like that. Um, but now the really cool thing about that is that you don't have to do it in the natural scale too. You can do it in the six diminished scale. The whole idea is putting a half step below your target. So, so I'm going to spend the next few minutes showing you all different ways of applying this exact principle of the half step below. Okay. So, and this is a subject for many videos. I'm, I'm not even going to get to the <laughs> to the end of I'm not even going to get to it. It's just a beginning. So we said we're surrounding the target, okay? So let's see. Now you know the six diminished scale, and obviously there's other videos we'll link to. The six diminished scale comes from a six and a diminished. When you put them together, you get this scale, a major scale with an extra note between the fifth and the sixth. Some people call it a bop scale, major bop scale. But that terminology doesn't explain anything about the origin of the scale or the makeup of the scale. So Barry's language, six diminished, really tells you it comes from a six and a diminished. Okay, so with that said, 
we can do that same embellishment pattern on the six diminished scale. Now listen to this. So that's a whole other ball game. Uh, here's a little application. For example, you could say, uh, you know, uh, isn't it romantic? Merely to be young on such a night as this. Isn't it romantic? Mm -hmm. So, little, really, really cool ways when you go into the relative minor. And in the four minor. So, the half step embellishment in six diminished. Let's look at some other stuff. We talked about, and again, this is another link, the major chromatic. Instead of going a scale note up, just add, just do a double value on the half step. If you think that way, that's really what you're doing. You've got here's the double value. Now that's that's already an improvisational thing. Right? And uh, and of course we know this song. C, but we'll do it in B flat. Okay, so so there, there it is in the little snippet of it. It's all over the place in the repertoire, clearly. And that is just a matter of that half step embellishment. It's exactly what you just did here. Doing it in the six diminished scale. So there are melodic ideas. Let's look at some more harmonic ideas. Here's, here's a half step embellishment. Left hand would go. By the way, this is the ma this is just the regular major scale. It's not even the sixth diminished scale. It's just the major scale. Double the value. Double the value. All right. Anytime there's a half step, I just use that half step. Putting that together. Whoops.
this one. You'll forgive me if I'm not cognitively 100% there. It's been an interesting time. Um, what other goodies? I did have another thing that I wanted to show you along these lines, but I think that's actually enough. We're, we're right at about a little over 10 minutes. So, and I, and I wanna try to increase the frequency of videos I'm putting out during this time. So, quick review go through the target note, surround the target note. That gives you the half step embellishment, which actually intersects with the, the major chromatic idea. In other words, remember that all of Barry's ideas connect to each other. Um, and then again, it can also be done in the sixth diminish. things can be done in the sixth diminished as well as the major scale. Well, apologies for my imperfections, but uh, I, I look forward to putting many more of these out. Uh, I'll also answer questions. Um, I'm, I want to do some live streaming sessions and answer questions online. So, uh, so send me your questions and I'll announce, you know, uh, live streams, uh, session where we could uh, we could do this live so I'm trying to think of all different ways of uh, of staying active and staying musical uh, during these challenging times so I wish everybody uh, you know a, a, a painless as possible time stay safe and um, you know let's just keep doing music and um, you know, wishing you all the best. See you on the next one.